welcome back guys so today's look was inspired by this palette that I recently received it's the Morphe copper spice palette and I'm doing makeup on my beautiful friend Rhiannon today and I just thought that all the colors would complement her skin tone so I'm just starting off with the brows I'm using my Morphe brow palette this is an amazing palette especially if you are a makeup artist as it's got a really good range of colors so I'm just going in and kind of feathering the product into her brows she already has beautiful brows so I don't need to do too much but I kind of build up the product through her arch and her tail of the brow because that's naturally what the brows are normally like and then I'm going in with my essence brow gel in the darker shade and just running that through her brows and I find that this makes the brows look a little bit more natural. I then just put some concealer by LA Girl on her eyelids and this just helps with cancelling out any discoloration and also with making the eyeshadows stay longer and also pop a little bit more. And then starting off with that shade there that I just put a star on and this is going to be a transitions shade and I'm just buffing that through the crease. Now I do buff a lot guys so that's one thing I can highly recommend to you is just keep buffing and add a little bit of product at a time. And then going in and doing the same to the other side. Again, I am using tape as I really like the effect it gives. And then going in with this chocolate shade and then adding it into the outer V and blending it upwards. One thing I can tell you guys is just add a little bit and don't add it too high because as you blend, it kind of goes up more into the crease. So kind of start low and then as you buff, it will go higher. I then mix these two shades together and put it mainly towards the edge of the tape and worked it into the V. I didn't go too high and then again I'm buffing it with a fluffy brush. You'll notice that I place the product with a smaller brush and then buff it out with a fluffier brush. I then just keep adding product and buffing and you get the picture. I then went in with this gold shade here, which is such a beautiful color for her skin tone. It just complements her so well. I did actually start putting it on with my finger, but then I decided it wasn't pigmented enough and I used this smaller flat brush and sprayed it with some MAC Fix Plus and then put it on and it really gave like a bold effect. It will also help with the staying power as well. I then just go and blend those colors together so there's a nice transition and sometimes when you do this the gold on the lid or whatever color on the lid you have sometimes it can get buffed away so I just went in and put some more gold on and then I went in with a little bit more black because I just wanted to deepen it up a little bit. I'm then going in with the Kali Bible palette and going in with this second highlight shade and just adding some to the inner corners of her eye. Now I just find that this brings the whole look together and it also just makes you look more awake. I then also go and put some on her brow bone and then I'm going in with a cotton pad and some micellar water and just wiping that off. And then I'm just going in with some moisturizer and some Benefit Professional Primer. Now this looks a little bit funny guys, but in the end I promise you it will look really good. So I'm going in with some NARS Sheer Glow Barcelona in the middle bit of her face so it's kind of like a highlight and contouring we're doing so light and shade kind of look so then i'm going in with her shade of nasty glow in syracuse on the outer parts of her face and then i'm just buffing it all in or blending it all in with the damp beauty blender don't forget the neck and the ears then i'm going in with some la girl the orange concealer i believe it is and then just Patting that down, only add it to where that little crevice is because that's where you are most darkest. And then I'm going in with some LA Girl concealer and then blending that all in. So I basically swap between a blending brush and also the beauty blender. So before I put the powder on, I make sure there's no creases and then I set it all and this helps the staying power and also helps with the creasing and just makes everything look airbrushed really. I then go in and set her face with the RCMA no color powder for the rest of her face. And then I'm going in with the same shades as I used on her eyes on the lower lash line as well. So that lighter shade, the two darker shades and then adding some black towards her outer corner.
I'm then going in and buffing that all away and I'm then using the Hula Benefit bronzer and this is actually a really good shade for her if you build it up slowly. So I also use this to bronze her face as well as contour but you just have to build it up. So just going on her forehead, her cheekbones, her nose, and also on her chin and her jawline, just to blend everything together. We're not doing like a really contoured look. We're just going for a nice bronzy glam look. And then I'm going in with this limited edition essence blush. And this is a really pretty color for her. It's a gorgeous coral color. Then going in with the Kali Bible palette. Can't recommend this enough, guys. You can see how beautiful it looks here as it catches the light. And then going in with an Essence Soft Mauve Lip Liner. Then I'm padding in some Soft Spoken by NYX. It's like a liquid lipstick. And it just kind of stains her lips. And then I'm going in with some Creme Brulee as well by NYX. And just patting it in the center of her lip. Because this just makes your lips look more plump. And then going in with some Essence Mascara on a little spoolie. And then I'm going in with these beautiful Ardell Soft Wispy Lashes. And I think the look is stunning. 